But we begin this noon time with the latest on the financial crisis facing the Central Coventry Fire District. A judge has called a hearing for this afternoon to decide whether a contingency plan for the district should be made public. It's our top local story. I'm News News reporter Susan Campbell is working the new details from the courthouse now. Danielle, that hearing is set for one o'clock this afternoon. Lawmakers say they hope the judge will release the plans because they say voters deserve to know what will happen if the Central Coventry Fire District is dissolved. The fate of a fire district in financial trouble will be decided by voters. We've been on edge the last two years, knowing whether or not you'll have a job the next uh, week or the next month. So uh, we're looking for a, for a yes vote, there's no question. On Tuesday, taxpayers in the Central Coventry Fire District will vote on a proposed 36% tax increase, which would make the new tax rate $299 per $1,000. But state lawmakers representing Coventry say voters don't have enough information to make an informed decision. I've been really um, appalled, actually, by the secrecy the lack of transparency and just the kind of the willingness to give people misinformation. If voters reject the budget, the fire district could be liquidated. If that happens, we've learned there is a contingency plan created by surrounding fire districts to cover the Central Coventry Fire District, but details of the plan are not public information. Lawmakers say taxpayers should have those details, and they're hoping a superior court judge will release the plans ahead of the vote. It's about their financial security. It's about their physical safety. So they need they need the they need the information. The Central Coventry Fire District has been in receivership since October. Last month, voters rejected a budget with a tax rate slightly higher than the tax rate they'll be voting on tomorrow. Now again, that hearing is scheduled for 1 o'clock this afternoon. We will, of course, have the judge's decision for you on Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. Live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.